The following is for entertainment purposes only. We are not financial advisors. We are not responsible for any losses, only the profits. So Bakdo Nation, we got some work sport news. Supplier partnership with Hercules Electric Mobility for its TerraVis solar truck bed tonneau cover. Hercules, y'all heard of them? Hercules Electric Mobility? I haven't even heard of them ever. I was like, this is gonna be sick. What is this? Toronto, work sport signed an agreement with Hercules to Detroit, Michigan. They're based out of Detroit, Michigan for work sports ground baked breaking TerraVis tonneau cover solar charging system to be the tier one OEM supply partner for Hercules forthcoming Alpha electric pickup. I've said that word before. People are like, that's their fourth. No, no, that's their, it's, that means it's coming. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's their fourth one. That means it's not out yet. Soon to be released, maybe. With over US $27 million in early customer reservations, Ter the announcement today reveals Hercules at WorkSports partner to an agreement between the two companies expected to generate $70 million in future revenues for WorkSport and a subsequent follow-up story to the September 15 had said that in the terms of the agreement are expected to be disclosed in mid-September. However, since then, causing a delay in the announcement that two companies have broadened their discussions relating to additional deployments from the TerraVis system, merging and uplisting on a senior exchange and manufacturing collaboration. Okay, so they are working together on this. They're not just selling them to them, they're actually gonna somehow be involved with them. Although we understand the delay over one month is challenging in today's volatile market, we appreciate shareholders' patience in allowing us to arrive at today's milestone so the CEO, Steve Rossi, we will continue to work timelessly, tirelessly in progressing our business and keeping our valued shareholders up to date. The economic value of this one relationship is expected to be of a profound significance for work sport and its future growth and development, added Rossi. They announced 70 million in projected revenues. The first contract to be is just the beginning. It's likely to expand over the longer term. We are proud to work with Hercules because of its management's long history with developing and launching major vehicle platforms. We need to look into that because as far as I know, they haven't released anything, but I'm guessing the, the guys who are running it have. So they got a good pass to it. Terra system will be exclusively configured and uniquely crafted for the Hercules highly innovative EV pickup truck, the Alpha. The durable and technologically advanced TerraVis system will be the first to provide a meaningful source of recharge, multiple configurations for work and sport, and fusion of cutting edge solar power storage and delivery. The platform takes advantage of the standard pickup truck's practical capabilities while also utilizing the power of more sustainable and renewable energy. Proprietary high efficiency solar panels built into the rugged tonneau cover, the likes of which WorkSport has become widely known for will collect the sun's rays and store energy in multiple portable battery banks, which I think is totally cool. So you can pull it to a job site or campsite or whatever, and say you got a radio or a light that you got to plug in or charge or something. God forbid everyone's got their cell phones out. <laughs> Hopefully not. Regardless, you got a way to charge it because they've got these external batteries you can pull from out of your bed that are connected to the, the solar. You can pull those out and plug 110 volt or maybe 12 volt stuff into there, which is totally rad. The anticipated Hercules and WorkSport long-term relationship partnership, a pioneering automotive industry agreement, combines factory-installed solar charging and structural tonneau covers with a new type of performance electric truck. The companies will co-develop the technology on the Hercules Alpha and development on future SUVs and marine applications. Hercules is deploying and Developing and deploying high technology solutions, integrated clean power and mobility to create better products and multitude of customer selected configurations. WorkSport is working towards a similar goal at reducing pickup driver's carbon footprint for the system and battery inverter module for existing light trucks, as well as a number of useful accessories. Hercules and WorkSport look forward to jointly launching the Hercules Alpha Solar Charging. I want to know what is going on about the boat thing. And I wanna know how they're co-developing it. I mean, they obviously have to work together to, to size it and stuff. But then he says, on future SUVs, so is Hercules coming out with an SUV? And then what is that Marine all about? I wanna know what that is. 
We are pleased to be working with the team at WorkSport to bring solar charging to our Hercules products, said the CEO, James Breyer, who co-founded the company in 2018 after a successful career in the automotive industry. It will be part of a luxury experience without plug anxiety. Due to the solar charging truck bed cover with the WorkSport solar solution, our customers can enjoy their on- and off-road activities while adding to their electric charge at the same time. It's pretty cool. Even like, I was just thinking like air charging, if you want to, or if you've got like tubes, right? Inner tubes you're taking to the boat, you got you get the, the electric tar, uh, tire inflator or whatever and hook that up to these. It's super sick. Hercules is taking an unconventional approach using available services, expertise, and industry cap capacity to launch products quickly and efficiently. This allows Hercules to bring co eco utility vehicles to the market faster and with higher levels of personalization and craftsmanship. It also means we don't have to add redundant manufacturing capacity where it isn't needed. The WorkSport partnership is an example of approach. This approach, WorkSport developed a unique product and is something that will make our electric trucks distinct from all the others. We'll collaborate on cost optimization and continuous improvements for projects that achieve performance and price advantages against other industry available cover options. Hercules will integrate the solar charging tonneau cover to its core architecture to give freedom to Hercules drivers, specifically plug freedom. The solar's cover covers overall, overall charging is similar power to a level one cord plugged into a 110 VAC outlet. I don't remember the count. I think it was like 450 watts. So um, maybe one breaker full, about 15 amps or something. Am I wrong? Any electricians out there? Basically, um, you know, one hair dryer, one hair dryer or like 10 lamps, you know, it's not bad, you know, or 10, 10 phone cables charging at once is good. And maybe a boom box. In Hercules, we have found the ideal development partner for the Terravis system. Rose said, James Breyer is one of the automotive industry's most respected executives and achievements and including per perfecting the electric vehicles at two largest Detroit manufacturers. We will mutually pursue necessary funding investment. We will mutually go after money, investment, and working capital for overall project success, including cross introductions to investment partners. So they need more money together. The partnership and products are so innovative that we have no doubts that we will secure financing in the near term. Discussions with financial institutions have already begun. While at Ford Research Lab, Brayer was instrumental in launching fuel cell hybrid and electric vehicles, including fuel cell focus and others. He also led development in the Volt powertrain and global EV powertrains such as the Spark EV. He is complemented by co-founders Julie Tolley and Greg Weber. With the recent Terravis reveal, WorkSport enters most exciting period since inception. So the CEO of Ro Mr. Rosie. We now have the perfect, well-established partner and project that will quickly demonstrate the TerraVis system's attractive and leading-edge approach to the providing solar power to the light truck industry. At the same time, WorkSport will continue to focus on the growth as a lead innovator and manufacturer of the global automotive market for tonneau covers for electric conventional light trucks. Other important announcements are expected to come soon. All right, that was a big old thing to read there. So uh, what do we pull out of it? They're partnering. They're not just like purchasing these things they're going to go together and get financing what's up with the suv how are they going to do that what are they going to do a uh, back glass or roof of one that's crazy uh and then my other question is, is definitely the boat thing because if they can come out with a like a sunshade a universal sunshade or you know something that attaches to like wakeboard towers that would be cool because you don't have to retool it every time you can get like a universal mounting something that can clamp onto the the tubes right and just stretch it out and then get solar panel for your boat i think that would be totally dope because boats don't need near as much electricity but again you can power it at night plus you could store different batteries with it i mean there's just there's so many other things like i was saying blowing up tubes you could pull up tubes on your boat right i'm interesting to see like you know i feel like we need a some sort of back backlog of this like we need we need specifics what are the the numbers on this like who's paying for what what percent are you going to own of that exact tonneau cover 
let us know exactly really what's going on, the intricacy of it. So what is the Hercules truck? Uh, dude, this, it, it looks uh, 3D. When I say 3D, I mean, uh, I can't touch it. I don't think you can touch this right now. What am I getting at? I don't even know if they have an actual rolling model of this. This is totally Photoshopped, man. Uh, as for the look, you know, it looks like a mix between the Dodge Ram and the Ford Raptor. It looks okay. Uh, but then, you know, I saw the video. I was like, okay, dope. Let's take a look at the video. Hercules. There's nothing. The same photo there. Uh, free clean. They, they even announced a couple days before one week ago, how can sunlight benefit pickup truck owners? Find out more Wednesday. So, you know, they knew about this announcement, but, but if I would have known about Hercules, I might be checking on them every now and then, but I've never even heard of them. Probably because I don't think they have a rolling model. This looks like Photoshop to me. Hercules Alpha. Got the interior. Looks, you know, looks pretty good. There's that same one picture though, you know. You know, specs look, you know, amazing, fantastic. Zero to 64 seconds, 300 mile range, 1,000 horsepower if you get the four motor drive system, the Founders Edition. But again, I, Founders Edition, you got a uh, password protected. It, I, you know, looking at this as an outsider looking in, like this just looks like a pipe dream right here. It just does. We got one picture of it. News and media, they got one thing here. One. And then I, you know, reserve yours, you can reserve it. Click, there's only one you can click on. Um, you know, it lets you pick your color, interior color, which is cool. But, like, again, it doesn't show any other pictures. This is the only picture you got here. No videos either. Is this made? Does anyone know anything about this? Hercules people, you watching this? What's going on, man? Give us a timeline. What's going on? If it's not done, when will it be done? Where are we at? Where are we at? You can order the quad motor or the rear wheel drive. 500 horsepower is still a lot. 1500 bucks to reserve, but again, uh, where's the dates and everything about us? You know, they only show a little bit about the owners here, just a couple paragraphs. I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, these two are obviously in the infancy stage, which means, uh, big growth, right? They can both have big growth. Um, as for investors on here, you know, these guys aren't on the stock market yet. Maybe a SPAC could be taking these guys. Hey, Hercules, are you going on the stock market with SPAC? Let us know. Are you going to IPO or are you going to do that crowdfund thing that'll never work? Don't do that. <laughs> please, please do the SPAC if you're going to do it, but just give us some hard information. What is going on? So, I had to get this all out to you. I saw this information a little bit earlier today. Um, how did this, how did the ticker go? Let's take a look at that. Sport. Not good. Why? Why didn't, why didn't it go good? I think because it wasn't Rivian or it wasn't Lordstown. That's why. It didn't do terrible. Like it didn't like totally dump, but it went down 10% today. What does it look like? A massive bull flag, sure, but at this point, we're waiting for more specifics. I don't think they can give it to us, otherwise they might have. Like they said, they're, they're trying to secure some financing jointly together. It'll be interesting to see how this pans out. You know, this is one of those stocks that, you know, you could, you could put some dollars in and maybe come back in a year or two and do it that route. I don't know that I'd be putting any money in it right this second, though. I gotta, I gotta find out a little bit more hard hard details and I'm sure what that means is the price will go up but I'm okay with that I'm okay if we get more details and price goes up and then I enter I want to know a little bit more specific what's going on I want to know the boat thing <laughs> that seems honestly like the more I think about that that could be possibly even a better play because uh, I can't I can't imagine trying to find a universal and let me know is, is there a universal like truck bed tonneau cover thing that would fit most pickups I don't know I don't I don't think so unless it wasn't totally covering it right they'd have to make it a little bit shorter or just one that always fits like all short box rams or short box chevys or whatever 
But if they got to make them specific to every single truck, it's a lot of tooling, you know, and they got to rework it and all that. It's a lot of work, but I don't know. I'm proud of them though for getting that. This is cool, but we just we need more info, and more info. So thanks y'all for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do it. it. Definitely helps out the channel. If you haven't liked this video, please do it. And please share it with your friends. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Did you know that we give away free silver? Simply leave a comment on the video and as long as you're in the continental United States, you can be automatically entered to win. Please friend us on Twitter and StockTwits.